Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Long War. Uh, last time we left, we had abductions in France, so we're going to go take care of that. Hopefully, it'll just be another sectoid bug stomp, uh, which should be easy enough. We have our new gunner, Yetisir, who uh, should be bringing some good aim to the table. Excavation and we finished excavating. That's great. Not really. We don't have money to do anything. Prepare for deployment, strike one. France is sending an urgent mission request. Local government forces have reported a coordinated alien attack in a densely populated neighborhood. They're counting on us to secure the area. Well, that's a problem because I really hate this map, especially given the squad we have right now. I think what we're going to do is try and take the high ground and just fire down, just brain death on all the unsuspecting sectoids. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Okay, first thing I want to look at is how are we going to get up here? I'm thinking that's going to be on the right side. Alternatively, I mean, I'm not sure if there's any way to get inside from up here. But it would actually, there would be a lot more cover if we could get inside, climb up the ladder, and end up on the scaffoldings. Something to consider. Do any of you have a shotgun? No. No, no, no. We don't have any assaults yet, so... In the meantime, we're just going to blue move everybody up so that... No! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I hate that. I hate when I go to click on a unit and it ends up opening the door instead. All right. Well, the good news is that... The good news is that these drones are in the open. They're not flying. I'm assuming they're all in the same general vicinity, even though I can't see one of them right now. If I can move a grenadier up, that would be great. Uh... Only if I leave you in the open. And then if I leave you here, there's a very good possibility you'll be flanked next turn. What is that frame rate? Alright, I am having some issues with lag here. Uh, I've attempted a couple of times now to maybe do something about this. I don't know why I even just moved that. I'm so annoyed at this point that that's just kind of what I did. Uh... Jesus. All right. You move up to the spool cover. Mariana Santini, you're going to chuck a grenade because it's actually a pretty wide area. Problem is, I'm not sure if it's exactly where I need it to be. Yeah, it's about as close as I'm going to cut it. This is, in all likelihood, a totally worthless grenade. I hate drones so much. We have such a terrible chance to hit on them because they have inherent defense. Yeah, that 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 was totally not even close to worth it. Um, will AP do anything? I mean, at least we can see them all now. Will AP hurt these guys? I don't know. Let's find out. I mean, I guess it's better to find out early on than later, right? Okay, well, that killed two of them. Wish we hadn't wasted a frag doing that. Um. Okay, Sereva, you're gonna come around. Oh my god, this lag. Okay, now Sereva, you're gonna come around this side, and if you can't see it. Oh, you can. Alright, take that 73. All right, here we are two days later, and let's try this again. Uh, Mariana Satini. Okay, I gotta try and reacquaint myself with who is gone and who is not. Uh, Yetis, sir, you're gonna move up. Nothing else to see in there, it looks like. I think we're, we are actually gonna end up taking the high ground in here, because I now realize that there's windows up here. I don't have a whole lot of experience with this map, but it should give us... It should be the same thing as the roof for us, except we'll have cover, so we won't be firing from the open like we would have been on the roof. So, uh, what do I do with you, Sniper? I think you're just going to come out into the open over here. You're not going to activate, and if there's anything down that way, you'll be able to see it while being firmly out of its sight range. So, is, ooh, Victoria Zalegi. I'm just going to call you Victoria because I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. Are you a rook? I think so. Uh, yes, sir, you're going to overwatch. And that's in turn. I can hear more sectoids scampering around out there. Uh, Mitchell, Mitchell, I think you're a rook too. Mitchell, why don't you go ahead and see what's out there? I've got a visual. Not a pot of sectoids, pretty standard. 
All right, and right now, wh why are we... Oh, the enemy is in an elevated position, which means that we're going to have an aim penalty, I think. Uh, can, you, can you see anything, sniper? No. Okay, you just you just come way over here. I don't think they'll be able to move up and shoot you this turn, especially not if we keep the uh, Overwatch going. And what are we going to do with you? You can take the half co full cover right there. Can you get upstairs? Uh, yeah, I guess we might as well start moving you up, since you can. Aha! Who has the high ground now? Well, it's not really much of a bonus, but okay. And what else do we do? Engineer, let's move you... Let's move you here. We'll hide you behind the wall so that when we move you up, we can actually use your grenade to take out some cover, hopefully. This is good. We are in good positions. That's that's good for us. Um, okay. And we'll move you up. Maybe toss a smoke if we start getting in trouble. In the meantime, I'm just going to overwatch you. You uh, take your 33. I probably should have studied weapons since probably nobody was going to try anything against you. Uh, take your 37. Nope. Here they come. What? Whoa! What's going on now? Did we just activate another pod somehow? That's odd. I'm actually kind of worried about Yetisir now, because it looks... Is he in danger of being flanked? I don't think so. I'm starting to feel like maybe I should have popped that smoke. Ah, uh, Yetisir. Here we go. Taking a 49% against the Sectoid. And, of course, he missed. Early game. Early game. Oh, somebody's being mine merged. Ah, uh, mine fray. You and your psychic nonsense. That was a pretty good chance to hit, too. Ooh, but it failed! Yes, sir. Strong a will. I'm just worried somebody's going to overwatch. And there it is. And he's going to try to use Psy Panic on Mitchell. If that happens, it's really no huge deal. Just please don't chain panic. All right, there we go. It looks like that had a pretty low chance to actually hurt us, so that's good. Um... Wait, you have lightning reflexes, don't you? You do! Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here is what we are going to do. Sereva, you're gonna dash out, try and draw that overwatch. And that's only a 3% to hit, we should be good. Punky gravy. I also probably could have uh, suppressed with the Yetisir, but we might have to do that with somebody else. And you can't see that sectoid. That's very odd, you should be flanking him. Okay, well, if I move you to here, you'll be flanking that sectoid, the closer one. And there's really... Oh, there's nowhere I can really move you. See, what I wanted to do was come down here and hopefully get a flank on this dude right here. But that's not going to happen, it looks like. If only I could... Hmm. What else can I do that... I have an idea. Okay, you come over here. Oh, can you see meld? Huh. Alright, if you could drop that down there, that eliminates a lot of our problems. That's a that's such a wide area, too. Yeah, go for it. Oh, that actually got killed. Boop. Hello, everybody. GG here. Looks like Ag Agbaria is about to miss. So you're probably wondering what just happened with the audio. Well, for whatever reason, it cut out about six minutes into the second recording session, so, um... Yeah, it, it, it just did. In fact, I'm recording this right now. Uh, let me just check the track. Uh, yeah, we're still recording just fine. However, um, it, it, it just did. I haven't even adjusted the wire since then. I have not even adjusted the wire, but... It stopped recording then, and it is recording now. It just totally collapsed into noise. 
So I'm going to be doing a post commentary for this part. Uh, looks like Yetisir is going to suppress this one dude in full cover because he's the biggest threat to us right now. The other guy is flanked and the other one is in half cover. Yeah, uh, I didn't expect to have to be doing this. This is going to be kind of lame, actually. There's Santini moving up. I wonder how this is going to go. I have to pretend I don't know how this is going to go. How did, how did this usually go in the early game? Oh, like that? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Nope, we got a mine merge coming in. A lot of good that's going to do him since he has to move anyway. Nope, this guy moving up into full cover. Using mine fray on Sereva. How's that going to go? And it failed. What do you think? Can any of these other little guys go for a mind fray? Are they capable of that? Are they intellectually capable? We got a mind fray coming in for Sereva again. This one's a 41. And it failed again. Why? Because Sereva strunk. Sereva strunk of will. And what's this dude going to do? He's going to fall back like all his other idiot friends. I think there's still another one in the fog back there. I don't really remember. And here we go. A mind fray on... Ye or no, mind fray. A 1% on Yetisir. I'm pretty sure in Long War, uh, fire firing against a suppression is a 1% no matter what if the suppressor is in heavy cover. So when you're in heavy cover, um, suppression is a very powerful tool. And what are we going to do with Santini about this? We have currently five active sectoids. Two of them are in the blind. Take a 48 with Agbaria. Nope. Early game sniper. Victoria was kind of a superstar on this mission. Uh, not superstar, but she did a lot of good work for a rookie. And what do you know? There's our exposed little friend back there. And let's see what we can get with a pistol. 68, not as good. It's always hilarious when you come across an enemy with full health, and it's not even a question of... Or with one health, and it's not even a question of can you kill them. It's a question of is it worth the ammo? Yeah, there we go, trying to take the shot. And that's a dead sectoid, which means a promoted rookie. Actually, I think she already got promoted when she threw that grenade before. That's affirmative. And Yetisir is going to come up top. What are we going to do with Sereva? We definitely want to move up on these guys, but she doesn't have any grenades, which are probably all that's really useful right now. However, Santini is an engineer. Maybe her grenade can do something useful. All right, against my better judgment for the second time, here is us attempting to use grenades on the cover of this little ship here. Maybe alien grenades would work better, but here the HEs just were not cutting it. See, look at that pathetic one damage. The other one absorbed damage resistance. However, we did expose a sectoid right there, which Sereva is now going to take advantage of. Go on, Sereva. He's down. For all the time Sereva spent dodging overwatches and just generally moving up the line, Sereva deserved to get a kill on this mission. And there's a pretty low chance to hit, so I think Yetisir is just going to take another suppression on this guy in heavy cover. Especially since we'll be able to flank him next turn with, uh, who was that, Victoria? And here's this one guy trying to be clever, trying to move in on us and keep us pinned from inside the building. He knows that people on the left would probably be trying to move up and flank him. Flank his buddies in the ship, I mean, but here we go, taking, an, taking a reaction shot against that sectoid because he got scared and tried to run, but it was a 91%. Because we were on, we had the high ground. Uh, Yetisir has pretty good aim for a gunner to begin with, and that was a nice kill. Santini is suppressed, it looks like, but I'm sure we can do something about that. The only thing we need to do to flank that sectoid that's suppressing Santini is we need to deal with that Overwatch from the sectoid all the way on the left. So Sereva is going to move up with her lightning reflexes, try and deal with this guy. I was pretty afraid to move up here because I was worried about activating sectoids uh, that might be in the dark back there. I did not want any more activations right now. And there I am probably explaining something. Probably explaining something very similar to what I just said, but I guess I took a way longer time to do it. Man, these post-commentaries are so much more efficient, even if I do hate doing them. Why don't we take another shot with the sniper? We need to level her up. Why not? There's why. I'll get him next time. No, you won't. 
And there's Thomas Mitchell. He's now unpanicked. It only took him the entire game. But Sereva's going to move up. Uh, again, not wanting to move up too far because we don't want to activate any more sectoids, but just enough to draw that Overwatch. Choo choo. Yeah, lightning reflexes. You're a sectoid. You're not hitting crap. Plus, it's a dash, which reduces the chance to hit even more. Santini, uh, you're still suppressed, but we can deal with that very shortly. I think that's a job for Victoria. Uh, unfortunately, there's not really any heavy cover to go to, uh, because we kind of just fragged the crap out of it. Um, but that's okay. We'll just take that half cover. Hey there, friend. I was so nervous for a second that that was a miss, because if that was the case... Ain't nobody would have been able to save her. And now here's where I kind of agonized over moving uh, Thomas Mitchell up. I didn't realize that those barrels that I'm eventually going to move him to were full cover. Uh, and, you know, I can't make it to that forklift. And plus, I didn't want to move him up too far anyway, uh, because I don't want him to be in half cover. And I don't want him to be too close to activating sectoids. Um, yet a sir can't do anything because he needs to reload. So I'm moving him up, getting him ready to reload. Uh, but it's not going to matter because uh, at this point I'm going to realize, at some point I'm going to realize, I actually don't know how long this took, uh, that those barrels are full cover and that they are, in fact, flanking. I'm on it, Commander. Thomas Mitchell, make us proud. He's down. Chalk up another one. And this was a good game for the rookies. Um, Thomas Mitchell managed to, even though he was spent most of the game panicked, he managed to pull it out in the end there. Uh, Victoria managed to do some good stuff with her frag grenades and her flanking at the end there. So, all in all, this was a good mission. You know, any mission without injuries uh, is always a good thing. Looks like they're really taking care of business. All right, uh, we have some promotions to go around. So, uh, first up, we're going to have Thomas Mitchell. Our rookie who got that final kill. Uh, he's going to be a Rocketeer. He has a decent move, good aim. He's going to be our Rocketeer. Yetisir probably, now that I watched the video again, should have been a Rocketeer. Um, but I'm really not too worried about him anyway because he's a pretty good gunner so far. Yetisir, you have a promotion as well. Speak of the devil. Uh, mm, hollow. It's between Hollow and Flush. I, I Don't quote me on it. I think other people can have Hollow targeting. Uh, but we're, we're going to give him Flush. We're going to give him flush because, uh, really, for the limited amount of ammo our gunners have and for how often they're going to be suppressing, we want them to be using ammo for something useful, you know? Not just taking those hopeless shots in the hope that somebody else can get a better one. And finally, we have Victoria. Uh, she has decent move, decent aim, pr pretty much decent everything. So this one's pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, we're going to end up giving her running guns so that she can be our new assault. Which is good, because we're pretty overdue for an assault, um, especially since we're going to have to deal with outsiders very soon. And we even managed to save the meld, so that's good, even though we didn't get that many Illyrium and Alloys. Remember, we will be watching. Yeah, so what happened here is that Nigeria has withdrawn from the Council, I believe in Long War, because of the way... Uh, withdrawals work in Long War, alien bases appear in countries that withdraw from the Council. And because you need at least one alien base in the game in order to advance in the story, one country in Long War will leave the Council, uh, regardless of panic, uh, within the first month. So that's what we're seeing right here. Now, there is something pretty cool about that, um, and that's that countries that leave the Council, you can actually get them back uh, if you build a skeleton key and assault the base in that country. So that's a really nice mechanic, and it's something that I think is cool, even if I never want to do it. And there we are, researching xenobiology. Now, I think sectoid autopsies are necessary for one of the upgrades for your, um, for your interceptors. And it's, it's 10 days out, but I think I'm going to go with alien weaponry just because it's 15 days. And I want to, I don't know what all this stuff goes directly to in Long War, but I really want to push better weapons as early as possible. Mostly because I don't like fighting chrysalids with ballistic weapons. I, I just don't. I'm especially terrified of getting the Newfoundland mission. In fact, I might even skip it. I mean, I know a lot of people have it down to the point where they can do it in their sleep, but I, I, I can't. I, I just can't. Yep. 
Here we go. We have our first intercept with a UFO. We're going to send up Raven 1, and we're going to try and take this guy down. Now, I'm pretty worried because the air game in Long War can be pretty brutal. It can be pretty friggin' brutal, so... Uh, I'm worried about taking damage here, and we already have taken da- Oh, but it's down. That's really, really good. Uh, we only took a little bit of damage because the air game is really punishing here. When you get damaged, you're out for a long time, and you only have so many interceptors to go around, especially how expensive interceptors are compared to the main game. Uh, but this is good. This is good. We're actually going to get some alloys in Illyrium now, hopefully. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. Oh yeah, that's what happened here. I actually lost the ability to click. That was a very weird bug with Fraps. I, I lost the ability to click on things, and yeah, hang on. Give me a second to fix this. Alright, uh, I'm able to highlight stuff again, so it looks like that bug is fixed. God, that was annoying. Anyway, time to send Sky Ranger after our first crashed UFO. Uh, and normally I'd skip through this, however, I want to talk about uh, our new assault uh, and what we're going to give her. Um, let's see, uh, I think she should be okay with Attack Fist, and we really need to get the mobility out of her. With 6 health, she should be okay this early on, and will the Machine Pistol give her better or less aim? Nah, aim, what am I talking about? Mobility. Uh, and what should we gear her up with? What kind of stuff does an assault need? Uh, you know what? I think we're going to end up giving her a flashbang, and in her second slot, uh, probably another flashbang, in case we have to use the first one. And here's why. If she gets close enough to the Outsider, and it's like a bad activation or something, like if we don't get to breach the way we want to and kill it in one turn, uh, we're going to want those flashbangs so that we can keep it pinned in one place, because flashbangs reduce an enemy's mobility and its aim. Two things that we really are going to need uh, if we get a bad activation on that Outsider. Uh, but anyway, back to our regularly scheduled fast-forwarding.